A. Abbreviations pronounced as individual letters. E.g. For example, from exempli gratia, Latin. I.e. That is, from id est, Latin. A.D. The year of our Lord, from Anno Domini, Latin. Used in the Christian calendar to count years since the birth of Christ. Many people prefer C.E. as an alternative. B.C. Before Christ. Used to count the years before the birth of Christ. Many people prefer B.C.E. EU, European Union. ID, identity document. NB, note well from nota bene, Latin. Used as a warning or to point out something important. IQ, intelligence quotient. A way of measuring people's intelligence using a system of numbers. PTO, please turn over. USB, universal serial bus, a type of connection between a computer and an electronic device. FAQ, frequently asked questions. ASAP, as soon as possible. VIP, very important person. RSVP, please reply, used on invitations from French. Répondez s'il vous plaît. UFO, unidentified flying object, often used to talk about an alien spaceship. B, shortened and blended words. Bedsit, a flat with only one room which is a bedroom and a sitting room. Sitcom, short for situational comedy, a kind of humorous TV program. Sci-fi, science fiction. Info. Information, biodata, biographical data, details about someone's life, job, and achievements. Biopic, biographical picture, a film about the life of a real person. Wi-Fi, wireless fidelity, wireless connection for computers and electronic communications. C, acronyms. Some abbreviations are acronyms. That is, they are formed from the first letters, or occasionally syllables, of a word or series of words, and are pronounced as a word. AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. PIN, Personal Identification Number. Used on credit cards, bank cards and so on. VAT, Value Added Tax. A kind of tax on goods, pronounced VAT or VAT. D. Abbreviations used in academic writing and bibliographies. Fig. Figure. A picture or drawing, often with a number, in a book or other document. Example. See Fig 2. Ed. Plural eds. Editor or editors. Often used in bibliographical references. P. Plural PP. Page or pages. Examples. CP26, CPP58-61. From page 58 to page 61. CF. Compare. Example. Carter. 1997, investigated core vocabulary. C.F. Lee, 1987. Et al. And others. Used in bibliographical references to refer to a book or article with several authors, usually three or more. Example. O'Keefe et al. 2010, discuss this problem. A. Common prefixes. I-N, in, and its variations I-M, im, I-L, ill, I-R, ear, can make a word negative, as in inappropriate, 
incapable, inaccuracy, inability, and imperfect. MIS, miss, means wrongly or badly. For example, misbehave and misuse. OUT, out, suggests being greater or better than something. For example, outnumber and outweigh. RE, re, has the meaning of do again, as in reconsider, redevelop, and rethink. E has the meaning of electronic, as in e commerce, e reader, and e cigarettes. ECO, eco, has the meaning of good for the environment, as in eco friendly cleaning products. An eco city and an eco warrior. B. Preposition based prefixes. Over may indicate A. An excess of something, B. Being above something, or C. Going across something. A. Excess. That film was overrated in my view. It was a bad restaurant with an overpriced menu. B. Above. Several of our neighbours' large trees overhang our garden. Our garden is overshadowed by the block of flats next door. She always felt overshadowed by her older, more successful sister. C. Across. He overstepped the mark when he said that. Will you be staying overnight? Under. May indicate A. Less than the desired amount. B. Something below another thing, or C. Some kind of negative behaviour. A. Less. Don't underestimate the time it will take. The company is seriously understaffed. B. Below. It's quite wet underfoot. Did it rain last night? The underlying question is a very difficult one. C. Negative. I wish you would not undermine everything I do. He did it in a very underhand way. Up can suggest a change of some kind, often positive. The airline upgraded me to business class. There has been an upturn in the economy. C. Less frequent prefixes. C O N con or C O M com. Often suggests mixing things together, often in verbs of communication. For example, converse, commiserate, condolences, congeal, contaminate. P R O pro can often suggest pushing something forward or increasing it. For example, promote, proliferate, procrastinate. Procreate. E can give the idea of something coming out of something. For example, they were ejected from the restaurant for bad behaviour. The machine emitted a loud noise and then stopped working. A. Productive suffixes. Many suffixes and prefixes too are productive. You might feel adventurous enough to try coining some words of your own. The meaning of the example words below is clear from the meanings of the root and the suffix. Ubble can be used productively, whereas ibble never is. It combines with verbs to form adjectives. Note that ubble means can be, a washable jacket, disposable nappies, predictable results. Avoidable problems, a manageable situation. Conscious combines with nouns to form adjectives that describe people who consider one aspect of their lives especially important. Health conscious person, class conscious society, safety conscious company, time conscious workforce. 
Free combines with nouns describing something undesirable to form adjectives to describe nouns without that undesirable aspect. Stress-free life. Tax-free shop. Additive-free food. Rich combines with nouns, often chemical or organic substances, to form adjectives to describe nouns with a lot of that substance. Fibre-rich diet. Calcium-rich foods. Lead combines with nouns and nationality adjectives to form adjectives describing things that are controlled or influenced by the original noun or nationality. Community-led initiative. Student-led protest. Worker-led uprising. Minded combines with adjectives or nouns to form new adjectives describing people with particular characters, opinions or attitudes. Like-minded friends. Career-minded young women. Money-minded managers. High-minded. Proof combines with nouns to form adjectives describing things that can resist the damage or difficulty caused by that noun. Oven-proof dish. Waterproof jacket. Sound-proof room. Idiot-proof instructions. Related combines with nouns to form adjectives to describe one thing as connected with another. Stress-related absence from work. Age-related illness. Written combines with nouns to form adjectives describing people or things with a lot of that noun. Guilt-ridden person. Crime-ridden city. Bed-ridden. Worthy combines with nouns to form adjectives that describe people or things that merit whatever the original noun refers to. Newsworthy incident. Praiseworthy action. Praiseworthy pupil. B. Suffixes in different word classes. Li is not only an adverb ending. It also forms quite a few adjectives. For example, lively children, costly holiday, leisurely walk, miserly man. Unt is most familiar as an adjective ending, but it can also make nouns from verbs to describe a person. An applicant for a job, an insurance claimant, a police informant, a quiz contestant, an occupant of a house. N makes adjectives from nouns, but it also makes verbs from adjectives. To moisten your lips, to sweeten tea. A situation worsens, a face reddens. A. Common well-established word parts. Many literary or academic words in English are formed using Latin and ancient Greek prefixes and roots. Many English speakers are not aware of the meanings of the word parts listed here, but knowing them can help you to understand and remember new words. Auto. Self. For example, an autonomous region. Bio. Life, living things. For example, biodegradable packaging. Cyber. Relating to computers and robots. For example, a cyber cafe. D. Opposite action. For example, demotivate. Mono. Single. One. For example, monocycle. Graph. Writing. For example, a monograph. Gress. Step. Walk. Go. For example, a congress. X. An area of study or knowledge. For example, obstetrics. Phone. Sound. For example, phonetics. Ology. Study. For example, criminology. Pre. Before. For example, prepaid tickets. Retro. 
back, backwards. For example, retroactive law. Techno, relating to advanced machines. For example, technophobia. Tele, over a distance. For example, telepathic experience. B, blends. An interesting, if much less common, way of forming words is by combining two well-established words. For example, brunch is a meal that is a combination of breakfast and lunch. Heliport, a place where helicopters can land and take off. Helicopter plus airport. Smog, polluted fog, smoke plus fog. Motel, a roadside hotel for people travelling by car. Motor plus hotel. Webinar, a seminar delivered over the internet via a designated website. Web plus seminar. Guesstimate, an approximate calculation. Guess. Plus estimate, verb to guesstimate. Docudrama, TV program that dramatizes real historical events. Documentary plus drama. Breathalyzer, a device to find out how much alcohol a person has drunk. Breath plus analyze.